Hello everyone, Lord Aegeon here, another Grey Goo replay. Spot on the bottom side, we have... I think that's a... I haven't actually seen this color of human before, like a brightish orange. Brun... Brun... Bruno... Go... Yano. Bruno Gallo? I think? <laughs> I'm not sure. And spot on the top side, we have Mr. Elentary. I think the new update may have added more colors because I haven't recognized this color of human, this least, this icon, like this bright orange. I don't remember that color being in the game. Yellow, I've seen that before. And this uh, replay. Actually, a bit of a slow start, in fact. Now, here we go. This is where I start seeing. Uh, looks like the this human player has gone for two refinery. He's going for his third now. Has three war factories out. This is a bit of a lower ranking game, as you can see. Lack of conduit wire, though, I suppose is one way to save money. Not spending on conduit wire, excuse me, I hiccuped. This human player has gotten two refinery. He should expand, yeah, he's expanding to his third now. He probably is going to take this uh, trident here to, to get able to get some vision to place down the refinery. The extractor, I should say. And we're going to see. Uh, Three tri uh, four trident versus four trident. The one of them was a scout. There's a fifth one actually up here. So these five trident should win out easily. Gets a shot on that. I think it was just actually attack move, not a move order. But perhaps it was skill. I can't really say for sure. More and more reinforcing tridents. Tridents do have a healthy health at a greater than a Gladys tank. Let's see, in retaliation we're going to see more and more uh, units. Yeah, this is definitely a lower ranking game. You can see I believe this person is actually a uh, much lower rank. He has not an infinite queued up, but that could just be set numbers that he wants to build. Currently building on more re three, three more war factory does have four refinery out. The fourth one is up here. So there's some nice juicy 13 catalyst numbers here. It's, you should actually place your refiners in this nice juicy juicy center. You can probably get three, maybe even four there. Getting a now a mixed force between revolvers and tridents. He spotted these uh, harvesters. So he's going to attack the, the extractor. Not going the base head. Perhaps suspecting there is a uh, sentinel, but no, he's actually going to camp in the trees. Nothing seen here but us trees. I think that was a quote from like the Mirage tank back from Red Alert 2. Nothing here but us trees. I think it was actually Yuri's Revenge when they started adding unique f uh, flavor dialogue instead of standard infantry, standard tank dialogue. Well, you see here. There's a uh, tr eight uh, tridents there, plus another four. There's a grand total of twelve, though he could wipe out one force and handle the smaller force immediately. More reinforcing tridents. Do we see any tech yet? No technologies. Trying to get the extractor, but he will not. And he's actually just some of those. Uh, it looked like a no. They're just ex the exploding effect. I could have sworn it was a trident when the harvests are exploding, but it's just how they die. They sort of have the same exploding animation. Currently being attacked, he has them on a move order, not an attack move. He did sustain actually heavy amount of losses before actually engaging. Reinforcing tridents from here. Looks like it's going to be a trident war, or a tier 1 war for the, quite a bit of time. This play does have revolvers, so going for Gladys is not exactly best, the best idea for him. Bomber craft and fighter craft would be great at this point. Though, actually, uh, bombers are not exactly the greatest versus tridents since they have so much health, but perhaps he should get some repair subroutines. That may do him some benefit.
another extractor, another refinery. Perhaps he should have uh, moved the extractor over here, this, that extractor over here to get a much safer refining point. Now he's building and extracting nice juicy 13 credits. Catalyst credits, pretty much the same thing. The yellow player has a massive income. He had, was at plus 40. At, oh, perhaps would, all of his stuff is built at the same time, so it's just them leaving, so then they will... There's a brief time where it's not actually building. But currently it's still just a tier 1 play. Bombercraft, like I said before, would be the great choice with all these uh, nice small units being clumped together. Bombers will wreak havoc. One bomber can destroy all... I think they have, what, two bombs? Or do they have three bombs? Three bombs, they can wipe out everything. Two bombs, they can wipe out the revolvers and heavily damage the tridents. Much larger number of tridents will push away this force. Though the reinforcements coming in will actually make his force larger. Yeah, he now is engaging. And... Though the force wasn't all the way with him... And the healthier, actually the healthy Trident's actually going to win out versus the Revolvers. People think Trident's are garbage? Not really, they're actually good versus the anti-heavies, which their job is anti-light. Reinforcements are coming in, though he should just fall back, there's... No, oh, actually now he might be able to win, I can't really say for sure. He pulls back. He actually does have a tr Revolver of his own. Perhaps he does have one of the War Factory is building revolvers. Both of them are at negative economy, though... One, two, three, four, five... No, there's just four. Just four refinery to the sixth refinery? One, two, three, four, five? No, just five... Just five refineries, so there's four to five. They should have, I would say, expand a little bit more. Currently their forces are even, they have, they need to reach some technology to get the advantage. Though he's trying to go for flanking, but he, once again he's moving and not attack moving and he's losing units. Might as well he does move so he loses less units. Though he is drawing up this force here, he's going to do a little bit of a dual attack. With this force being drawn out, look, he's splitting up the force even more. This force is going to be destroyed. Perhaps this force can't escape. Nice, rich 13 uh, economy placements can also be in the center. Looks like this uh, revolver is looking out for another extractor point, but he also sh should just place three in the center, in my opinion. Don't worry about these two on the top. Building a fifth extractor, he sort of does need it, but he should pause all of his other production so it can be built as soon as possible. At this rate, nothing's being built. And he's building more conduit wire, that's a really bad idea, he has minus 84 economy. He should have held off on that uh, conduit wire. He is, and building the artillery center until this refineries finish. Large force here, we're actually starting to see some Gladys. Though, of course, these players can't hear me. It's already recorded. Well, this match's already been recorded in the replay system, so they can't hear me. Well, wow, this force is not actually attacking. Look, look at that. They're just stuttering. That this force was just stuttering like that. I haven't seen that before. The howitzer needs to get back. The howitzer really needs to get back. That's heavy hardware. You don't want to lose that. And the howitzer goes down. Luckily, the Gladys can withstand quite a bit of a punishment due to the fact that this force is largely revolvers. Not revolvers, but tridents. Though they can be focused down like that. Trying to hit the large war factory, it's still not complete, so it's taking massive amount of damage. 
That refinery looks like it's now finished for the bottom player. He should just cancel these attachments, put that economy into the army he needs to be defending with. A couple more Gladys are out. Yeah, it's being built faster than they're destroying. Halter is shooting away. And that's kind of why there is uh, artillery and now I'm building art, uh, anti heavy. He is expanding this way. Well, then there is this harassing force, so you probably just remove the extracted that. No, I don't think he actually expanded down there, anyways, so never mind. Getting a nice juicy 13 uh, economy per second. Looks like monitors now gain stealth. Looks like one of them is going to go for some scouting. The yellowish player. Nice hit when nails on the move over move order once again. This force will be cleaned up. There is a larger number of tridents, and plus these more tridents. Monitor craft is in the center. Perhaps maybe eyeing some more extractors. Build another refinery, but he is only at minus eleven, so he can actually pay for this extractor without the pocket change he has. Building the extractor here. He may want to invest in some more extractors. Or maybe a defensive... He actually needs a bit more of a defense force, I would say. Building, moving the conduit wire forward. You can teleport the buildings forward. I know this is a bit of a lower ranking game, so just some ideas for if you're at similar ranking or skill, you can move your buildings forward with the teleport wire uh, ability with all the human buildings. Looks like we've got an alpha building right here. You couldn't even make this war factory much safer back here. These uh, Catalyst node is starting to run low. Perhaps you should move one of the extractors down to the 13 catalyst pool up here or the 13 catalyst pool down here. You can have multiple. Well, he does know. Looks like he did actually move it. Speak of the devil. He must have heard me back in time. Yeah, he can afford some more extractors, I would say, and more tech. After all, in this game, unit diversity does not come from the units you can build, but in the research you can tech, you can research. Research you can research. That sounds horrible. And the technology you can invest into. Owls are just poking away. With a 3 armor of the artillery sentinel, it, they're able to do 20 damage. For 6 armor of the conduit wire, they do 17 damage. Both of them do have a slightly positive economy, though I would recommend uh, the orangish player to uh, getting more and more extractors, trying to harvest this rich catalyst. Alpha's currently three minutes away from being completion. He's going to hold back until the Alpha's complete, though he does have an extremely large number of artillery sentinels. Looks like these ones are all force find the ground. Nope. An artillery war. Interesting. 
Bombercraft will wreak havoc on this force, but I keep complaining and it probably won't happen, so I probably should stop complaining. Now there is a force attacking the uh, these extractors. He had not any defensive force within range. Look, at these extractors are free, just delays mining time, but he needs that mining. He's now in negative five economy. Howitzer should stay in the high ground while the tridents should go down. The tridents cannot reach far. And all four of those extractors did go down. Now he did actually with hold some of his production, so perhaps he should start moving the extractors over here or along this line. Just anything until you get the rich until you resecure the area area. The orange player does have his he does have his military all maxed out, so he needs to attack. He needs something to spend his economy. Build some tech. Build an alpha. As you see here, there's a tech board. Since he can withstand the losses since of his superior economy, he's just doing damage to the opponent. He has this short one, the conduit wire, which depowered a couple of the sentinels over here. Nothing too major. The artillery sentinels are really going to town. They do have less damage versus the howitzer, but they do have a bit more armor and health. And tridents, like I said, they are they're a small unit. They are actually vulnerable to splash damage. Perhaps he should invest to a detector sentinel so you can see into that bush. Artillery actually shooting at one of the tridents back there. They need, they need to focus on the tridents in front. Perhaps he should start to rebuild this uh, conduit wire so he gets his stuff back online. Perhaps put a double up conduit wire over here. Just go from here back to base. More and more force coming up. There's a uh, howitzer now sieging the artillery center sentinels. The Alpha is 30 seconds away from completion, and probably on completion, the other player will surrender. Perhaps not. We have to find out. Though this factory is now being sieged. Ten seconds left. It's coming close. I... He probably won't destroy it. I think even the... If these, uh... Attachments get destroyed, if it will not cancel production of the Alpha, and the Alpha is now out. Fires one shot, only a partial shot. And now full shot, destroying all these tridents, though they're missed two that were not in the line. Halitzer's trying to hit the Alpha, now they're starting to retreat. He moves sideways, because they would a couple of them would have been destroyed. And since he revolves as a superior economy, he did not invest into an alpha. And in fact, he did not invest to any, really any tech technology. He is now research. The yellow player is now researching technology. Uh, artillery and anti-heavy sentinels remain powered, even if they are disconnected from the conduit wire. Nice burst here, destroying most of the infrastructure. Now the burst actually catching in a lot of the tridents. And this is the end of the game. The, the bottom player does not have anything to contend with this alpha, though he is attacking some of the extractors. It's a bit of a small pick-me-up. This player is not very... still has a positive economy. And he is actually mass production anyways. Oh, the reason why he has such a, a large economy is the fact that he has a... Uh, interesting, it just attacked and stopped. And now they're trying to going back. Oh, we just passed an alpha. We should probably shoot at that. Looks like a burst is going to come out. 
dealing 100 damage. Almost destroying quite a bit of condo wire, in fact, also. Going straight from the infrastructure, destroying one of the war factories, and now the army of the yellow player is coming in. The, the orange player did surrender, since he was about ready to lose anyways. This was a very interesting replay. It just shows you some, what, I, just my opinion is what both players should have done. Aircraft. I whined about that this entire game, but aircraft would have dealt massive blows to the ground for forces of the opposing players, and don't rely heavily on just tier 1 army. Tier 1 armies can be destroyed quite readily, but they are cheap. This is Lord Ajon saying thank you for watching and signing off.